Hello friends, my name is Chevy, welcome to my shed. How are you doing today and how is life in your world? I hope everything is good, I hope everything is great where you are. Everything here is pretty dandy. Um, I realize that there has been a bit of cryptive stuff going on in my life lately and I've kind of talked around it and I've mentioned things about my own uh, you know, lack of awareness or things that I'm currently learning that don't make a whole lot of sense and I've talked uh, cryptically about uh, tests and such and I have to say that I'm, I'm very open. I'm a very, very, very open individual. If you ask me a question, I will give you an answer, even if that answer is uh, I am, you know, unable to answer that question because of contractual reasons or, you know, whatever. Um, but I'm not just going to dismiss. And I've had a few questions about some of the things that I've been talking about, and I have given answers. I think I've given answers, but they've been very shallow answers for a reason. Um, you know... When it comes to secrets, I don't tell secrets. Like, that's, you know, if you ask me to divulge information about something that uh, is not my information to share, then I'm not going to share it. No matter how open an individual I am, my life is fairly open. Um, but even I have secrets. And so one of the secrets that I've been keeping lately is uh, just because I don't want alarm, right? Um, I, I mentioned the health stuff. I don't want to alarm anybody. I talked a little bit about that. Um, but lately, it has been uh, career-oriented. And um, I, I've been... To, to just give you... To tell you what's going on, I, I was approached by some recruiters from some much uh, larger entities who have asked for me to, you know, talk to their HR and and walk through the process. And I have agreed. Um, I'm always open to to new opportunity. I'm always open to new horizons, uh, regardless of how comfortable I am my present position or whatever. And so I've kind of not talked a lot about it because I do know that people that I work with or people that know me in my professional life watch these videos. And I don't want anybody to get the wrong impression that, you know, I've had to answer to a few things at work. Like, are, are you leaving us? And the answer is no. I, like, I don't know. That's the correct answer. Um, I'm not, you know, planning on it, but if an opportunity arises that is uh, significantly better for me, then, you know, I, I'm not going to turn things down. I'm not going to turn down opportunity. And so going through some, um, going through the recruiting process, is an opportunity in and of itself, just learning about how uh, how companies interview, learning what is expected during an interview, learning um, learning the questions that they ask and the methods they use to evaluate candidates. That's valuable information for me regardless of where I work currently. Uh, or where I might work in the future. Because if I'm ever in an interviewing position, which I have been on interviewing staff before, um, I can, you know, glean knowledge from the things that I've done recently. And I realize I'm talking in circles still, and I'm going to continue to do so until I have something concrete to tell you. But what I will say is that I have gone through some technical screenings. I have gone through some, do you know what you're talking about? And the short answer is no. <laughs> the short answer is the jobs that I have been recruited for fall outside of my normal, uh, my normal daily duties. Uh, they are they are on technologies that I'm not familiar with. They are on platforms that I'm not familiar with. And so I've had to spend the last few weeks brushing up. And I did that, uh, one, for personal growth. I love learning. I absolutely love it. And I've had a really great time learning all of this various new material that I've had to pack into my head over the last few weeks. Um, because I wanted to go to this screening process um, as if I was a legitimate candidate. And who knows? Maybe I am. Maybe something will come of this. I don't know, and I'm not going to say it won't. But I'm also not going to say it's a definite. You know, it is it is something that if you look at the list of qualifications, I am not qualified for, but I am also a very driven individual, and I love learning. So I've taken this opportunity to learn new technologies, to experiment with new uh, ways of thinking about software, 
and uh, approach this, you know, testing procedure. I mean, it's a, a technical screening for a, a development position is a test. It's They're testing not only your ability to write software or your ability to understand how software is written, but also your ability to communicate effectively, to be a team member, to, uh, you know, a problem solve as a group. And uh, so that's what's been going on. And today I had um, a pretty tough <laughs> screening that uh, I felt there was a few moments when some extremely basic questions were asked and I couldn't answer them. I knew the answers, but nerves uh, have been very difficult to manage in the last few days. Uh, M isn't here. She left on Sunday. She's in Maryland for training. And so I'm stuck by, you know, I'm here by myself and I've just been studying and studying and studying. And so I, I have been on edge. <laughs> and so my nerves were shot as I was attempting to answer some of these questions. I failed horribly at a lot of them. Uh, the questions that I anticipated, I did very well on, I felt. And, um, you know, I had to do some technical, like, I had, I had to show that I knew what I was doing. And so I solved that problem handedly it wasn't it wasn't a particularly difficult problem and then we discussed it, the solution that I came up with and we discussed how it could be improved and and we worked through that process so I feel like um, I feel like it was a very good learning experience regardless of whether anything comes of it or not um, the experience of it of, of going through that process like I said earlier is good professional development it's good for me to understand how other people approach the hiring process and um, it's good for me to understand what is the kind of the floor right like this is what is expected of this level position so that's what I've been doing uh, that's why I've been learning that's why I've been studying that's why I have put off so many things lately um, because I've just really been packing my brain with information and I've had a blast at it I, one of the things that I've realized throughout this whole process um, Oh, the, the language that I've been working on, I think I told you it was Java, or, or if I didn't tell you that, it was in a comment. Uh, a lot of the, like, uh, a lot of the, a lot of the targeted, like, let's see if we can trip this person up questions revolve around arrays and lists and sets. It's just a standard, like, do you understand how these work? And the answer is no, because I don't use them. Like, that's not true. I use them, but I don't use them like I used to use them. When I started writing software, when everything was in the software, when the software was doing the logic, when the software was doing the sorting and the searching and the figuring things out, uh, I used that stuff a lot. I don't use that stuff anymore. I use SQL for that. And SQL manages, you know, all of the sorting and, and searching. It, it, it knows how to do that way better than I do. Um, so I've had to kind of relearn data management, software data management. And, and to a developer, what I'm talking about makes sense. I know it's not making a whole lot of sense to the, to the lay person, but you know, there's, there's a fundamental knowledge in how data is sorted and managed and how structured. Um, and it's fun to kind of revisit all that stuff because I don't get to use it very often. Uh, and, I've kind of had to go, oh yeah, I forgot that this is how we do things when we don't have a SQL database or whatever database to do all this for me, to do the magic. I have to do it myself, and I do it by writing this sort of uh, control or algorithm, if you want to call it that. So it's been fun. It's been a really fun experience. Um, I'll keep you updated. If something happens, great. Uh, if it doesn't happen, great. I, you know, I love my current job and the people that I work with, and I enjoy what I'm doing. Um, but if opportunity comes up, I'm not going to turn my back. <laughs> that would be, you know, that would, that's, I'm not going to disservice myself. So that's what's been happening. Just coming clean. I appreciate you hanging in for all the weirdness. I really do. Uh, you guys are my greatest friends. I, this camera has become, uh, you know, a bit of a comfort piece for me. So I'm going to relax tonight and attempt to kind of just let my brain rest because I've had a few sleepless nights and I've done a lot of worry and study over the last few weeks. So I think I've earned it. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and being amazing friends and being wonderful, wonderful people. I appreciate you and I will see you tomorrow. Alexa, tell me a random fact. 
If you let a slinky dangle, even with a tennis ball on the bottom, and drop it, the bottom won't move until the top has fallen down to catch it. That's pretty badass.